We're really excited to meet her. We've heard a lot of great things about her. She sounds really sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down now. So she's 24 and she already runs a business. They started at 18. And she is uh, Forbes top 30 under 30. That's, top that's, 30 pretty, under 30. that's pretty big. Today we are meeting Shabri and she is the COO of Crimson yeah. Education. Chief Operating Officer. Officer. Yeah. There pretty you go. sweet job, sounds yeah. cool. And we're just here to chat with her, whatever rocks her socks. Yeah. That one dot is So we are right here. We are here. This is where we are right now. No, no, no. This is the Crimson Base right now. Not here, here. We are here with Chandre. We're excited to meet you. Oh, I remember we kind of, like, when we saw the like your map, we kind of thought, wait, this is like a secret agency. Where all the secret headquarters are. Do you still love coming home to New Zealand? I love coming home to New Zealand. It's my favorite. So I lived in the US for a year, I lived in New York for a year, and then in California for a year. And after living in California for a year, I came back to New Zealand. And I was meant to only be here for a couple of months, okay. but when I came back, I just realized how much I missed it. And it was so nice to be around our whole team here, and yeah. so good to be, you know, back. What do you think about London and Paris? What do I think about London? London is one of my favorite cities. The London, the London Eye. Yeah. I've only been once. The first, it was the first time that I went to London, and I was, 18, um, and it was just after I'd done this big trip around Europe with um, these kids that I went on a Model UN tour with. So we went okay. to um, the Hague International Model UN in the Netherlands, yeah. and then we went, I went to London on my own, my first trip by myself, and I went to, on London Eye, and it was the most amazing experience ever. Uh, yeah. um, but then I think even after that, like every time I go back to London, I like it a little bit more. Yeah. What would you tell 18 year olds starting out in business and starting out in uni? Best advice? Oh, that's a great question. Best advice for an 18 year old? Probably to make sure that you give yourself enough time yeah. to think through what you really like doing. So, mm -hmm. what activities yeah. do I enjoy? Why do I enjoy them? What kind of skills do I want to build? Mm -hmm. um, what am I good at? What am I not good at? And then use all that information to be able to build a picture of the types of things that you want to be doing and spending your time on. Yeah. Because I think that a lot of people at 18 make decisions about what they want to do next without thinking about them very well. They yeah. go, their friends, yeah. their friends are doing it. So you can actually, yeah. there are so many opportunities for you to like get involved in different types of activities and like do things through school that are social. Um, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, when I was at school, I did, um, uh, I played hockey quite a lot. And oh, yeah, that's a one yeah. of the yeah. And I was part of the student council and I did oh, speech yeah. competitions. Speech oh, she did that. Yeah. What was your mom's best advice when you were you need to try your best at school and like learn as much as you can, oh, yeah. but also like do as many things outside of school as you can, so that you can apply a lot of the stuff that you're learning and learn more about like people and how people work together and like you know how you can build really good social skills and things like oh, that too. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's probably the best advice that my mom gave me throughout my childhood. Mm. Your dad's best advice. Oh, he always says that if you learn something, you have to share it. That's why I was so excited when um, I learned all the stuff about overseas universities and like global careers and all these great mm -hmm. opportunities outside of New Zealand. Um, part of why I was really excited by that was because I didn't know it before and I wish I had. Mm -hmm. So I was super excited to share that with like other younger oh, students. Yeah. Um, and I think that that kind of came from my dad. Mm. What's Janine's best advice? Oh, what's Janine's best advice? The reason why Janine gives great advice is that she's very thoughtful about like specific scenarios, so I don't think I have one piece of advice that she, I can tell you she always tells me, but every time I, every time I ask her for, her for advice, her advice is almost always right. So I think that's, I think that's a, that's a huge skill right there. Favorite food? I really like big food. There's like a lot of grilled meat and um, salads and I think so. Like breads and oh, dips. That sounds good. Yeah. What books are you reading right now? On an airplane ride over here, I started reading this book called Bad Blood, um, which is it's a it's a book about a company called Theranos in the U.S. Okay. Um, which had which uh, basically created this te I mean, this healthcare technology like, yeah. product that oh, was cool. all a scam. Oh. Um, no. So it was like about this business that just crumbled because it wasn't like good. Um, good business. Yeah. What color rocks your socks on? Oh, lilac is rocking my socks off right now. Mm. So what type of pastel color do you really like? Um, I like lilac, I like uh, soft pink colors, and soft oh. like minty oh, green colors, yes. sky blue. Oh, beautiful. I also really like soft grays. Do you have a pet? 
Do I have a pet? So my dad has a dog. Um, he's Ooh. Jack Russell, and his name is Simba. Oh, so I, my yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't actually have, I don't have any pets myself, but oh. that's the closest thing I have to a pet. Oh. When I was at school, I think my parents wanted nothing more than for me to be able to swim, swim gracefully in a pool and oh. play a musical instrument. But um, I can swim very well now, but I never quite clicked with any instruments. I played the piano for probably about a year yeah. and a half. I played the violin for two years, I played the recorder when I was at primary school. <laughs> um, and what else? I, I loved singing, I was terrible at it, but I did singing lessons. Mm. Um, and none of them really stuck. I don't know why, but I wish that I I wish that I, I wish that one of them had because yeah. it would be so cool. Too. Your favorite musician? Britney Spears. My sixth birthday I got a signed Britney Spears CD that's in Happy yeah. Alexandra on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really so funny cute. story because my, I got it from my aunt, and oh, okay. she lived in Canada for a really long time, and she gave me this gift when I was six that I thought was the coolest present in the whole oh, world. That's and then as I got older, I like had this vivid memory of her giving me this present, and then as I got older, I wondered like, is this, was this really signed by Britney Spears? <laughs> and I found out on my 16th birthday that it wasn't signed by Britney Spears. Oh. So she, signed it. she signed it herself, and she just it, it, it gave me 10 years of happiness. We had a great chat. Yeah. We talked about um, dogs. Yes, and dogs. Colors. Colors. And <laughs> yes. Let me educate you in how I did it. Lena, you hold it like that. Oh, and you lift yourself. Use your noodle arms, Melina. You have arms. I'm not you got muscles in those it's arms. So